All right, welcome back to another episode of Granada Chronicles. Not that we're done with ducks. I've been talking that dropping out the ducks with the duck regular at the fields. Yeah. <laughs> Karahime is smiling from ear to ear, probably happy to have had something come over her desk that didn't involve, uh, uh, involve violence. You're not wrong about the cute part, but that was pretty exhausting for me. Finally free from the eyes of those curious onlookers, I let out a sigh of relief. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, personal issues. そうですか。何にせよ。これで私も久しぶりの休日に入ったということですね。Harima is looking around herself, also trying to decide how to spend this free time. Is there anything in particular you wanna do? If you want to spend some time alone or catch up on your sleep, I can head back to my room. せっかくですし、予定がなければ兄様も一緒にいましょうよ。Is there an order? Arima puts a hand to her cheek with a little laugh. She knows how cute she is, that's for sure. I could resist an order, but not the sister's request. Well, I don't have any plans today, so I can't hang out with you all day, Haru. I'm trying not to think about it too hard, that's all. If I do, that's when I get embarrassed. So if you want me to keep calling you it, stop calling me out of it! Hey, hold on. She bumps hard into not being able to lie, but at least she stops grinding. Even with that serious look on her face, I know she's laughing at the inside. So it still feels like a difficult spot. That seems to be the question that always comes back to around here. They don't have any fixed fun spots, meaning I've been in this position multiple times. Back when I first woke up here, I asked what people did for fun in Kanto. And they mostly told me names of games they played prior to places they went. With the friends, we do go down to the river or play tag. No, maybe not. It isn't something Karahima would want to play. I as I shake my head for her sake. Shall we get out of Kanto a little then? I found beyond the fields towards the ocean. Oh no, not a dis. If it's in Kanto, someone might start talking to you, dragging you back into work, or you might start feeling like working. It's like how people need to turn off their cell phones to get away from work in the past. Right. Even so, I'm putting my foot down. It's not like Kato's gonna be on fire when we come back or anything. I respond with the grin, right? I remember a similar exchange. Just the other way around. With Yuri, when I'm left one having to take the time off. We can have a chat at a place with some nice scenery, and if you think of something else you want to do, we can move on. Hmm. It's just past lunch. Why don't we wait for dinner? From the position of the sun, I estimate it's only one o'clock. She reaches dejectedly into her sleeve and takes out the rice ball. Mm -hmm. I thought we were waiting. Mm -hmm. 
んしちゃいますよ。She says a culinary character could say. Are he must bout this fall? Make it get out for her to speak? So I take the lead and we head towards the fields. <laughs> Hair. Ball. Passing through the forest along the way, we come out under the hill. Oh, we're looking at the lake, pouring down into the ocean in the valley. <laughs> Tarahima speaks gently, the sea breeze washes over her. Her gentle tone, a smile, are the same as ever. But she sounds so casual, losing the stiffness that thanks to her in town. When no one else is looking, she is just a normal girl. Well, a normal girl who wolfed down three rice balls in the way over here. Big ruler means you can't really get away from the palace of Crackless District. There wasn't much thought behind my idea to leave the town. But it seems to be paying off already. Maybe I still wore a fox mask for work. Digging up something private from her past suggests she's settling into taking a break. So I asked for more details. Thanks, Clark. Arahima pokes out her tongue cheekily. Well, there are techie roaming around here, so that accidents can happen. But Arahima would have been fine. Arahima meant she wasn't selected as a sword, but she could more than handle herself. It sounds like more of a tomboy than I expected. Ariema turns away again to take in the view with a nostalgic look in her eyes. It is? I don't mind shutting myself away indoors, so I can't see you feel the same way she does. I do like to hear more about your past. All I know about Haruhima's past is the kind of games she played with Tsubame when they were younger. I would uh, like to know why she was ignored in a dream. At least thanks to that dialogue. We don't have to talk about it. I've just been going around asking everyone personal questions. But <coughs> no one answered. And he meant almost to go off into the distance, and they all talked about themselves like a kid of shit. Yeah, I've been thinking about that myself. It was pretty rough back then. I laugh again. But a number of days, it might not seem that long ago, but it's already the distant past. Well, I told you I'm planning to write a story of Kanta. Harihima happily moves on to this line of topic. I haven't started writing yet, but it's clearly going to start with spring. From when I awoke to find myself hanging from the cherry tree. Good times. I can laugh now about how much that sucked. Oh, <laughs> so Do you want to really those memories? She recalls it too. It also seems a little embarrassed about it. I'm going with the the world that greeted the two upon my birth is beautiful and upside down. It's the beginning. Well, we can laugh about it now. I didn't have a clue what was happening back then. I also took your joke about getting executed a little too seriously. Although I'm pretty sure she really would have killed me if it had come to it. Ah, so da. Ano koro no koto de hitotsu 
兄様に聞きたいことがあったのでした。Harima wraps her hands together? There is? What? 着物の女の子が上半身だけ脱いで、馬地と肩甲骨のラインを見せてくれないと死んじゃう病気とは、古代では本当に存在したのですか Oh boy! I said that? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta own it. Well, it was kind of a condition among some people. There! I said it! That wasn't a lie. Not strictly speaking. It takes all sorts of.、Uh, all sorts to stop people's hearts popping. Oh, so now t h i s guy. He's the one who's a good one. He's the one who's a good one. まさか本当に古代ではそんな病があったのですね。ハリーマさん、ジープリンメスティングのトピック。My God, she's easy. I also have to apologize to folks from 1000 years ago. I'm getting a terrible impression of your cardiac health. 今でも見たいものですか、uh, well, uh, I already do. Your clouds. Our Hima puts her hand to the nape of her neck. She might be willing to put on a little show. No, not right now. I'm fine. I panic a little. I want to. Of course, I freaking want to. But I can't tell her that. Hima? No, not that way. There may be another time. Kikai desu ka? She's giggling good theme. It's strange how she's the only one from all the girls here. But also feels a little like a girl from ancient times. Anyway, I just need to keep that first promise I made to you, Haru. Yakusoku. Anta ni kibo ya shiawase o motarashite kudasai. Desne. Haruhime gives a soft smile. Do you give the past leads us back to the reasons why we're doing all of this? Along with those words, I believe in you. Guan Shin Kudasai. Anata wa di pani yaksoko hatashte imas. Glad to hear you say it. I've definitely been making changes, but, but it's reassuring to hear someone tell me that those changes are taking the right path. Well, we aren't finished yet. Anata no aruku haya so de, tuzuke te kudasareba to. With a ruler face on, Harima quietly bows her head. I reply with a bow of my own. The bow, the j e s t u r e the name you gave me. Hi. Shinjimas. She giggles again. Nisama no kaku monogatari. Hayaku yonde mi tai mono desu ne. The stiffy step is dispensed with, and Harima returns to casual conversation. Well, please don't expect too much. This is the first time I've written anything like it. That said, I'm excited about it、uh, as well. And I don't think it's going to take too long. I, not, I might not be restoring ancient technology, but from the perspective of restoring culture, writing this kind of story is an, ex- an excellent goal. Goal? Definitely one destination. Something to aim for. So you mono this call. Harima doesn't sound exactly sure how to respond. Well, for the girls here, stories aren't something they've really come across before. But now we're talking about me again. Does this count as you taking a break, Haru? Kigan no ita koto o nonbiri o hanashi shite iru dake na no de, yasume te imasu yo. Harima gives a relaxed nod. Then, Bird, she suddenly adds a loud yawn. Are you tired? Nebusoku no tsumori wa mattaku na kotta no desu wa. Shigoto kara hanarete koko e kite, kincho no ito ga kireta no ka mo shire masen ne. Harima's reply is a little dreamy. She must really be feeling it. You are worn out? Whether you are aware of it or not? So no yo desu ne. 
She replies with a slightly conflicted smile. In the two weeks since the Shiki battle, the rest of us have been able to re recuperate, even while helping with repairs. But Haruhima has had to continue running the nation. You need to take a nap and rest her head. Shall we head back while you can still move? Ano, Nisama? Yes? She grasped my sleeve. Eh? Chotto. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you want. You're so tired, you want me to carry you back? I can give her a piggyback. At least until we get close enough to the fields to be seen. I don't have anything but the purest intent in my proposal. But how do you make shakes her hand? Okay, so why is it? ここで1時間… A What? Here? That, 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 that is a surprise! A hill with a wonderful view out of the, out over the grasslands. The breeze falling and impended through the grass. It is a great spot for a nap. At the same time, it's also a terrible one. With no idea when Teki might show up. Arima slowly takes her neck to the side. Then she looks at me without saying anything more. I to respond! This is the kind of spot one should normally be napping. It's a bit of a crazy idea. I mean, yeah. The friends might be okay talking, uh, to taking a short break, but they do never suggest sleep. If she's simply too tired to carry on, she can resolve that in an instant with the Katadama. Of course, Harim understands all of these things herself. She wants me to take care of her. Not to respond. I think again, looking under the sky. If you fall asleep here, you may never wake up again. I'm not joking. <laughs> Wow, so much trust. She states that pretty plainly. If not bluffing or blessed her, she believes in me. That's what this is. You might believe in me a little too much. And he must smile and remain some place. そう you got a relaxing nap in the grass outside Kanto doesn't really compare to, the, to an accelerated fall from low atmosphere. Although that still doesn't negate the danger of such a nap. And he even notices I'm feeling a bit odd and offered some support. Sure, I should mention the twins are taking all the credit for defeating the Shiki. Harima looks surprised. It's clearly not having heard of this. We both helped out. But the results were so flashy, everyone just presumed there was a cane and the always work. Ah. Harima accepts this pretty easily. As a result, the people of Kanto are all excited about the Nino Kami taking care of the Shiki. I do heard all about it when helping acquire more lumber. Well, not that I mind. Harim understands me so well, and she finds being ruler to be a pain herself. It seems Katadama users don't really have any desire for authority. Okay, I'll watch over you while you sleep. But if things look bad, I'll shake you awake if I have to. You know if I make those dingly dongs, dingly. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Cute.
made me so sleepy. My ruler mode seems to have switched off completely, and her voice is carefree, and that's cute. I don't seem to have any other choice. Well, why don't you put your head in my lap? Tara. Keep doing that, and I'm leaving. With an erection. <laughs> I kneel down, and how do you my place is read into my lap? Hey. <sighs> wow, no hair and leg. <sighs> Your first time, Haru? それはそうです。なんかむつまじい男女が夜の川でこういうことをしているとは聞いていますが。Haruhi mentions the same thing as Yuri. I put my own head in Yuri's lap. But if who's <coughs> pretty good to be the one doing the pillowing too? Her smile, light hair, that's a bit on my legs. Feels nice. Her hair is all tickly. The fact that I'm looking down at the defenseless face of a cute girl so close, pressed on part of me, only makes this all the more intense. Well, I'm sure marriage do this for their children more than couples do it for each other. She gives a nervous laugh. Her smile tightens a little and her eyes roll. No, I don't remember mine either, said Chen, to make things not so awkward. Just go to sleep. Arima giggles again and then closes her eyes. It happens a lot at once, or almost once. Her brain changes. Hey, well, start to take a good year. Kato is destroyed! All of the background! <laughs> a lot. I thought we chat, we did chat for a little longer but she, before she fell asleep. But she drifts up impossibly fast. Haru, are you really asleep? I check, just to make sure. She doesn't respond. Yes, she really is fast asleep. She must be worn out. After a hard day, I can recall simply falling into bed and passing out instantly myself. Oh wow. I shift my position a little, so my shadow falls on Harihima's face. Just keep it in the shade. The weather is great. The breeze is great. I do love to drift up myself, but I need to remain on guard. I clear my mind and do my best to think of nothing at all. Time passes. She did mention 30 minutes, but even after an hour, I still don't move. Nothing just happened. The early discoveries have made better that Tarahima is a sound sleeper, who doesn't seem to snore. An hour, hour passes. There's still no sign of Tarahima waking up. I want to let her sleep for as long as she needs you, and so I just quietly watch her sleep. It isn't as hot today, so there's just a little sweat along her neck. Apart from that, she sleeps hardly. More time passes. I sense something can look up. Eh? Yeah. There's a black dot in the lake, like an open hole in the water. A category one. A spherical techie? It's still fairly far away, so I just watch it. It seems to be coming closer. It isn't coming great for us, but as bad luck would have it, we are likely to get cut in the 200 meter search radius. I think for a moment, and then gently put Harihima's head on the ground and stand up. The numbness in my legs fades after about 10 seconds. And I stole on down towards the lake. I walked down to the side of the lake, tracking the route of the techie, 
and stop in its path. Unlike the Shiki, the category 1 tech even recognized me as a human. So even after coming within 200 meters, it doesn't change its behavior? I just wait until it comes within 10, maybe 20 meters. Okay then, I face down the terrifying mass of steel that once scared the crap out of me and simply raised my left hand. I extend the flames from my arm and then grab the ticky in a burning claw. <laughs> You're nothing good but a breakable jewel breaker. <laughs> the ticky squeals like a bitch. I only grabbed it, so the ticky still doesn't seem to consider it, consider it an enemy attack. But it does try to escape from its captivity. But it can't move. Now it gets a run up first. In a simple contest of strength. It can't beat me. I keep the fire around my left arm while stepping down into the lake and moving over to the side of the techie. The water is clean, cold, and feels great. I reach the techie. Then I touch the surface of the techie with my empty left hand. The metal is smooth, cold, and feels great. What's the difference between water and metal? Where does my heart lie? I am the god of words. I speak of evil and I speak of good. The words just flip out. I don't know why I keep doing this. I can I can use it to the crush it without question. So easily. Other than the defeat I feel at the hands of my first stick in the Grapples District, this is also a chance for a little revenge. But that's not my style. I laugh. I don't care about winning or losing. Techie, someone very important to me is sleeping in your path, just up ahead. She believes in me, trusts me completely, and is sleeping soundly. She might even be having a wonderful dream. I don't want to trap to sleep. So please, you just take a nap too. The Kodadama takes effect. I apply pressure to just the fingers touching the techie and give it a light push. The techie changes direction. It goes parallel to the ground and then downward, sinking to the bottom of the lake. Well, I didn't tell you to kill yourself. I, uh, I release my fire nails and watch what it does. Take your skill that moving through the ground. It sinks into the wake bed of still melting into it. Rather <laughs> touched by the mud and soaked. After less than a minute, the Tiki has completely vanished and the leak surface has returned to normal. Good. I'm happy to have resolved it without the need for violence. Now I climb back into the land. Start to leave the cold water behind and return to Haruhime. She hasn't noticed a thing, still slumbering softly. <laughs> I'm relieved to see her happy sleeping face. I put her head back on my lap. Nothing else happens for a while longer, and I just had to time. <laughs> Pass around me. Reflecting on the day, it's turned into a nice holiday for me too. Eyes brave. More time passes. Aruhima comes out of her sleepy cycle, giving a murmur. Her arms, legs, and fingers switch, and her lips open. Her eyes open. Good morning. You had a good sleep. She looks at me, her eyes a little unfocused. Nine. Don't even joke around about that. Not to even mention we're outside. It, it isn't even dark yet. <laughs> Arima gives us a uh, giggle and chocolate stands up.
Then she gives a yarn, rubbing her eyes, and staggers her all to the left and right and an easy feet. So she's not only cute when she sleeps, but also when she's just looking up. Yep. It looks like it takes her a while for the gears to kick back in. Uh, that much you did a bit say anything. I'll scared. No spherical balls or triangles or gears like that go away or anything. How do you mind just clothing? Just asking, asking casually? You mean the sort of a sleeping girl smells sweet? Okay. Peaceful? Totally peaceful. Seeing nothing happen would be a lie, but seeing things were peaceful is the truth. Arima murmurs again as she looks around. I even made Eminem's, or one of the Eminem's, uh, fall asleep. I don't know for sure, but it's past 4 p.m. Probably around 5 by now. It stays bright until around 6 in summertime. The sky is still bright. But it's more like evening than afternoon. I'm actually impressed you stayed for so long out here in the open. I did expect her to awaken sooner. The steps basically used up today. Oh, holy shit, so dark. Of course, had him as free to spend her break, uh, break however she likes. Sounds cute. Just imagine a tiny version of how the Hime is sleeping against the tree is so sweet. Karima ponders some more? Okitara Naniko Shioto Motte Mastava. So Najikondiva. Yep, pretty much. I should have expected that. It is close to dinner time. Harima isn't going to let a hot meal get away from her. Hmm. You love to talk about food. I can't keep a laugh in. No, Shin. She, uh, well, yeah, technically, she is food, but. No. You spent most of the afternoon sleeping, but how was your holiday so far? Having escorted her out here, I decided to ask for her impressions before we return home to the palace. So, this is it. Harina puts a hand to her cheek and takes for a moment. But she's only pretending to think. She wants a moment to observe me? She gives a laugh. The evening deepens. By the time we return to Kanta, the sky is a beautiful sunset red. We pass through the fields and head for the crafters district. <coughs> the residents have all finished their work and are making their way back to their homes. Perhaps an approximation of such scenes from the past. Ooh. Ruler Harahima still finds it hard to switch off. She's looking around and making sure nothing at all is happening. She hasn't spoken to me since we returned to Kanta. She doesn't want people seeing her leaning on her prayer for anything. Or maybe her head is still just stuffy with sleep. We reached the palace without any issue. Ano, Shin, Nisama. Yeah, yeah. She calls out to me just before we split up to go to our separate rooms. Yakusukushimashi. Some... 
よろしければなんですが。今、ブレグスラウンド。あの、なんでニヤニヤしているのですか。まあ、どうリーズン。あなたは、ね、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、あなたは、At a basic work、uh, at the moment. I give a casual reply. Why would I ever question spending a day when I kill a girl? So, this is good. Yeah, good. She looks satisfied. So, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going She throws back a quick reply as she leaves. Okay then, back to my room. Yeah. Maybe I need to turn on the lights. Since I'm doing. So I decided to do the, the face cap. That is. I drilled out the lights, wait. I pick up the meal left for me in the corridor and then sit down at my desk. Thanks, Yuri! I rested the planet today, so I thought I might return to my ongoing tasks for uh, 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 right something. I stop. Ch uh, chopsticks in hand? No. I'll just call it the day too. Nothing happened. A wonderful day. No need to overwrite the reverberations of that. Hey, you. Hey, you. Feels like a while since I heard you speak. I replied to the boys from the armband.緊急性のない休日ということでしたので、あまり声をかけない方がよろしいかと判断しました。もちろん必要でしたら、私の判断基準を変更することも可能です。Nice. Having told her she can't decide things for herself, now you seem to want to chat. She did, didn't she? Like she, sa she said, she nearly died two weeks ago. I guess it's given her a lot to think about. Hopefully, good changes. I carry on deciding to spell things out for you. It's so devastating to finally realize the importance of something only after losing it. You know if that loss is part of growing up? That's why we need stories. The exchange for obtaining something can just be words. Something that doesn't actually exist. No losses, all gain. So, I don't Sounds like a plan. As I consider my schedule, I take a fresh hand towel from my shelf. Although not today, I'm done. I'm going to wash the day off in the bath and then sleep off the rest of it. To make a good day into a great one. But before I leave the room, I take the lid off the soup pot to check its contents. To make sure it's not vagina juice. It's a soup. A tofu. I got a chuckle. You are one lucky girl, Haruhima. Get out of Chronicles. And I'm gonna end here. Not exactly the best position regarding health, so. Uh, Oh, for fuck's sake, watch this. What, 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 watch the day. The, 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 what the Jesus. I haven't played this special novel for a little bit too long again. Ah! I'm gonna take a good one. But, well, you guys are sick. I'm recovering, but. Yeah. So I haven't bothered to record anything. And. Might I add. Additionally. 
The last chiseled video was, well, it's uh, the, the member 8, so I might be coming closer to like a uh, skipping a day. So that's, uh, it's sort of a problem to me. So I'm trying to get back to the recording, so there won't be a spot that I miss, I suppose. Other than that, I'll see you in another episode real soon, so uh, subscribe, it's free. Thank you.